Hi everybody, my name is Neil Alcott. I'm from Marquee 360 and I'm going to be demonstrating our Project Online to Microsoft Teams solution. Um, this solution integrates Project Online with Microsoft Teams uh, so that whenever you create a project in Project Online, it'll create a Microsoft team for that particular project. It also includes synchronization of your Microsoft project schedule with the uh, planner task associated with that particular Microsoft team. So I'm going to go here to Project Center and I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. So I'm going to give it a project name. And one of the ways we implement this is by having a custom field here on the uh, create a new project page. It's basically yes or no, whether or not the project manager wants to have a Microsoft team and a planner uh, plan automatically created for their project. Um, so I'm going to say yes for this. Um, keep in mind, we can also have this associated with project types. So for example, if you have a particular project type, you want to make sure that every time a project of that type gets created, a Microsoft team also gets created automatically. Um, we can make it or we can set up the solution that way so that you don't even have to specify whether or not you want it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on finish. Project Online is creating my project for me. And while that's being created, I'm going to go ahead and go to the schedule. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add some resources to my project team. So I'm going to go to build a team, pick several individuals. Hit save and close. Okay. Here I'm back at my project schedule. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and assign some of those resources to my task. Okay. Now let's jump back over to Teams, see if our team has been created yet. You can see here it hasn't been created yet, but it's still processing, so it'll show up here in a minute. So let me go back to my schedule. I'm going to keep building out my schedule. Now, the one thing I want to talk about real quick is the planner synchronization. So as you have tasks in your Microsoft Project schedule, over here on this column, Planner Sync, you can specify whether or not you want that particular task synchronized to a planner task in that Microsoft team. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to say yes. And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and say yes to all of my tasks. But as you can imagine, if you have a larger project schedule, you're going to be, want to be a little bit more selective. The other thing we can do is specify which planner bucket do we want these tasks to show up in. So if I click on the lookup table here, you can see in my demo environment here, I have them aligned with the phases in the project. Um, but you can specify what other bucket names you might want. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and assign some of these tasks to initiation and then the other ones to execution. Now what will happen here is when I publish the project, it's going to synchronize these particular tasks with the planner associated with the Microsoft project. I'm sorry, with the Microsoft team. So let's go back to Teams, and here you can see there's our project that we just created in Project Online, and a team's been created for that particular project. And let me go back over here. I'm going to go publish my project. And then after it's done publishing, I'm going to go ahead and check it in. And at this point, we'll do everything over in Microsoft Teams. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and check it in. Let me go back to Teams. Okay, so here we're in Microsoft Teams. We're in our Azure database migration project that we just created over in Project Online. You can see it added me to the team automatically as the project owner, the project manager. Um, it also set up several tabs that is 
exposing project online information here over in Microsoft Teams. So for example, if I click on the schedule tab, this will show us our Microsoft project schedule from project online. So here you can see the project schedule. Now, if I'm the project manager, I can go ahead and edit it right here in Microsoft Teams. If I'm the team member and I don't have uh, editing permissions, I'll just be able to have a read-only view similar to this. All right, so again, you can see the schedule here. You can see all the uh, task assignments. If I go to risk, this will show me the risk list for this particular project, which is coming from the SharePoint site associated with that project. We also have the issues tab, so this will show me the issue log. And then we also have the document library for the project over here in Microsoft Teams. Now for planner, you can see we've also added the planner tab automatically. And when I go in here for planner, you'll see the task that we've created over in our Microsoft project schedule will start showing up here. You can see they're still being created. Our synchronization job's still going through. And you can also see it's assigned to the individual that's assigned in your Microsoft project schedule. So you can see these popping in here. Now with the planner synchronization, um, it's a two-way sync. So as changes are happening in Microsoft Project, they get pushed over here into Planner, but also as your team members are using Planner. So for example, if I go into here and I switch it to the progress view, and let's say, um, you know, this task has been completed. This task has moved into development. Same thing with testing. Part of our solution is it'll pick up these changes happening over in plan, um, over in your planner plan, and then push those updates to your Microsoft project schedule. So for example, here, this task has been completed. It'll mark it as 100% complete in your Microsoft project schedule. Um, for the in-progress task, they will come in at 50% complete. So our solution will run on a schedule basis in the background and pick up these changes and then update your project schedule. Okay, so let's go to the schedule. When we go to the schedule tab. You can see here the tasks that I updated are now marked as either 50% complete, they were the ones that were in progress, or 100% complete. Now the other thing that our solution does is on the conversations tab, whenever the project manager updates the project schedule, you'll see a little mini status report right here on the conversations tab. So it'll give you an update on who the project manager is, when was it last published, um, your, any of your health statuses, your KPIs percent complete, start date, finish date. And this can all be modified if you want to display more or less information about your project. And then also if you click on view project status report, so here you can see the project status report for our Azure database migration. So let me go back to Teams. Um, the other really nice thing about Teams is if you want to schedule, for example, your, your weekly status meeting, you can do that through Teams and then you can record it. And then what will happen is the recording will actually show up here under the conversation tab as well. So for example, if I go up to this other project, we can see an example of that. So for example, here, here's a weekly project status meeting. And then if you do a recording, the recording will show up here automatically as well. Okay.